Hello YouTube! It's been a very long time since I last posted a video on my channel and I feel very bad for that because I've been getting subscribers pretty much every day and it's been an especially long time since I last uploaded a Android with OpenCV video tutorial and this makes it the first time in, the, in almost a year since I've addressed this topic and unfortunately uh, this will only be a short video, rather short video that will address some of the problems that you guys may have encountered in my second video tutorial while we were setting up the OpenCV toolchain in Eclipse. And also, as you can see, that I have a Mac now. Uh, in the past, I've only done it on good old Windows, and I naively believed that everyone would encounter the same problems regardless of what platform you used, because, you know, it's all Eclipse anyways. Um, but there were a few issues that I encountered when I set up the toolchain on my Mac that uh, I didn't encounter on, on Windows. So I will just address that on this video. So the problem that people have been encountering is that when they go to build their project, the library project, they get this problem with app build script. And in the console, it mentions a file called jni slash android.mk. So the solution that I come up with is to go to where you put the OpenCV SDK folder, go to samples and pick a project that has a jni folder in it, uh, face detection one, copy that folder and paste it into your uh, OpenCV library project. And then when you um, build it again, it should not give you that error anymore. Now I'm not quite sure whether this works for everyone, but it did work for me. Now the great thing about Macs is, you don't need to fit it with drivers. You can just plug the phone into your computer and just download your app into your phone, right? Except when I press play, I don't see my phone. However, your computer has actually detected the phone. If you go op open up ADB uh, on the command line, then, well, it can see your device. So what the hell's going on? In all honesty, I don't know what's going on, but I do have a fix. When that device chooser dialog box comes up, unplug your phone and re-plug it back in. You'll get this pop-up on your phone, just click OK, and then it will show up. However, this fix isn't elegant. You've got to redo it every time the device chooser box gets closed and open again. Now, a few of you asked me to uh, give a video tutorial on how to create an app with real-time OCR on Android. And I'm going to say that this is no easy feat. It does require components that falls outside the OpenCV's packages. Um, but it does sound like something that is pretty cool to teach. So I've been doing some of my own research on this. And uh, I, I, I found some people who attempted this, and most of them use something called a Tesseract OCR engine. Um, so I am going to implement my own version of this app. I'll be adding any progress that I make on this app to my GitHub repository, uh, of which the link to this repository I'll put in the description below. Um, so I've got a new GitHub username now. It's called pseudog. Uh, so, make sure you have a look at my repository for awesome projects. Um, and make sure you subscribe, because I'll be putting up videos uh, teaching you how this app works while I'm developing it, you know, when I feel like I've got a hand of over each component that I implement. And, and stay tuned for many more awesome projects that I will add to my GitHub. Peace.